Hello and welcome to One Great Sunday. We're glad you're participating either as a live event on August 13th or maybe you're viewing this at a later date working with your leadership. But either way, we're glad you're using the resource. I'm thankful for the opportunity to serve you as a state missionary in the Alabama Baptist Office of Sunday School and discipleship. My name is Daniel Edmonds. So welcome to One Great Sunday, a resource that we're going to be providing for you today and on into the future, trying to establish the second Sunday of August every year as a year that you can count on getting fresh new material to help you train to teach better in your class or to train the leadership in your church. I want to begin our time together with a simple challenge to all teachers. It was a challenge, I think, that the teachers that worked with me through Sunday school in my early years took on each and every year. The first thing is simply teach. But here clearly, teach by example. The teachers that I remember most in my life taught by example. We knew how they lived their life. They lived it before us. They shared it with us. We understood that they live what they were teaching us. Acts 1.1 is a passage that always captivates my attention, for it simply says, I wrote to you, O Theophilus, in my former treatise of those things that Jesus began both to do and teach. Jesus set the example by being the example of doing and teaching. So we need to set that example as well. Teach by example. The second thing is, even the youngest of class members, whether you're taught working with some of the preschoolers or children, youth, and adults, take them, take them to do ministry. There's always opportunities. We even talked about in our church taking a bed baby to visit in the home of another bed baby and taking a picture of their very first visit. There are so many different creative ways to get people involved in ministry. But I was greatly impacted, even in my childhood age, when we would go do ministry projects in the community, helping some of our shut-ins, so forth and so on. That's part of becoming a disciple, a follower of Jesus Christ. Remember, disciple is more verb than noun. It's to disciple. And so we got out and we did the work of ministry. So take them to do ministry. And then train them for service. You know, when a person is saved, God blesses them by being at work in them through something we call a spiritual gift. A spiritual gift is not something we possess so much as it's how the Holy Spirit takes hold of our life to use us for the kingdom. People need to discover what it is that God wants to do in and through them, how the Holy Spirit is going to use them to glorify and magnify Christ in this world. So train them for service and then turn them loose. You know, there are so many teachers sitting in another class where somebody else is doing the teaching that ought to be taking the responsibility of launching a new class to reach new people. So when we raise them up, please turn them loose. Encourage them to get out of the nest and go and be fruitful and multiply. And then finally, every one of us, every year, should take the challenge to tell others about Jesus. I don't know what your goal is. It may be to share the gospel once a year, uh, once a month, once a week, or once a day. But all of us should set before us a goal to tell others about Jesus. So that's my five-fold challenge to all Sunday school leaders this year. Teach by example, take them to do ministry, train them for service, turn them loose to be fruitful and multiply, and then tell others about Jesus. Now, one of the things you may find missing from One Great Sunday, the videos that we have, are there are no videos for the Sunday school director. There are no videos for pastor or staff members. So what about them? Did I completely forget them? No, I want to direct them to an ongoing resource. You can find it by going to the State Board of Missions website, which is www.alsbom.org. Looks like it says alsbom.org. 
So www.alsbom.org forward slash SS. And when you get to that page, you'll see multiple tabs. One says resources. If you'll click on that resource, Sunday school director, or pastor, leader, you're going to find both written and video resource to help you personally, but also to help you continue the training for leadership in your church. Also, you'll notice a tab that says events. Click on, click on those events and you'll discover a list of all the events that we'll be doing throughout Alabama in the coming weeks and months that may also be of help to you. One of those that I really want to call attention to is one that is taking place on August 31st right here in Montgomery at the State Board of Missions building. We want you to come and be a part of something called Why They Stay. It is a well-researched book and study by Steve Parr, who was once my counterpart in Georgia, is now one of the executives on the Georgia Mission Board. And he has done this research to help parents, to help churches understand what it is that we do in making disciples that impacts our children so that once they grow up and leave home, they don't leave the church, but they continue as a faithful disciple serving Christ in the local church. Some tremendous information. If you're focused on making disciples and discipling, discipling children and young adults, you need to come and be a part of that conference on August 31st right here in this building, your building, the Alabama Baptist Convention office in Montgomery. So come be a part of that. Now, one great Sunday, the videos that are being posted that today will remain. You can access them through Facebook, through Vimeo, through YouTube, whatever platform is helpful to you. They'll continue to be there the remainder of the year, probably all the way till June of next year. And in June of next year, we'll post some new topics of videos that will be released on the second Sunday of August next year, another One Great Sunday for Alabama Baptists. When you think One Great Sunday, don't think event, think ongoing online resource provided by your gifts through the cooperative program. Thank you for allowing me to serve you as a state missionary. May God bless you in your training today and in your Sunday school for years to come.